There's been a lot of news stories lately about interest rates rising on home loans and about home prices dropping, leaving many wondering about a nationwide housing market crash. But what about right here in Long Beach, California? Let's take a look at the local numbers and see if it's too late for sellers and buyers. All these numbers I'm going to go over are for single family houses. First, let's look at the median sale price of houses here in Long Beach. The median is the middle number if you were to line all the houses up from lowest to highest. Two years ago, the June median sales price was $702,000. Last summer, during the extremely hot seller's market, it was $840,000. That's an increase of almost 20% in price. So an increase of about $138,000. This June, the Long Beach median sale price was $952,000, an increase of a little over 13% from last year or a $112,000 increase. Houses are still selling for more than they did a year ago. They're just appreciating at a slower rate. Well, what about how much people were willing to pay over the asking price? Because that's what you were hearing last summer in the news, and that's what I was experiencing as a realtor, was buyers were paying so far over the seller's asking price. So let's look at those numbers. We're looking at the average percent of how much a house sold for compared to what the seller originally priced their house. In June 2021, sellers were getting, on average, almost about 105% than what they asked for. Now, June of this year, it has decreased to 102.3%. If most sellers were accepting offers at exactly what they asked for, this number would be 100%. But on average, sellers are still accepting offers over their list price. Another extreme thing that was happening last summer was that as soon as a house would go up for sale, it seemed like it would immediately be bought. So let's see if that's still an issue going on right now in Long Beach. The June before the pandemic, a house was sitting on the market on average 33 days. Last summer, it was 17 days, and now it's an average of 15 days before a seller accepts an offer. Therefore, houses are selling nearly as fast as they were this time last summer, which makes sense as buyers want to purchase a house as fast as they can before interest rates rise again. One of the main issues here in Long Beach last summer was that there were so few houses up for sale. Let's take a look at those numbers and see if the housing inventory has increased or not. Pre-COVID, we were at 448 houses. In June 2021, we had 253 actively for sale. Last month, there were 268. The amount of houses for sale is increasing, but the amount of buyers able to afford to purchase a house right now is decreasing. If you're looking to sell your home in Long Beach, it's not too late. We're still in a seller's market. If you're looking to buy a home in Long Beach, don't wait too long as interest rates are going to keep going up this year. But it's a lot better time than it was last summer because there's less buyers. If you're looking to buy or sell in Long Beach, feel free to ask me for any help. Thank you so much for watching and check out my other videos on Southern California.